good morning students in the last la last session we have studied about waves we have studied what is a wave how wave propagates in a medium what are the different types of waves different types of mechanical waves transverse waves and longitudinal waves how these waves are produced then what is a progressive wave and also we have derived the equation progressive wave equation that is displacement equation for a progressive wave the equation is y is equal to a sin kx minus omega t here we have studied that what is y y is displacement from the equilibrium position a in the equation represent amplitude of the wave and k represent wave number a is amplitude k wave number wave number is given by the relation 2 pi by lambda and omega is angular frequency we have studied what is amplitude in including the phase angle phi phi represents a phase angle next let us study about frequency period and angular frequency next wavelength and wave number now what is wavelength here just now i told you there is crust of a wave this point is called crust of a wave and this point is called trough of a wave crust is the position where the displacement is maximum in the positive direction trough is a position where displacement is maximum in the negative direction the two successive crust where the particles vibrate with the same phase these two points at these two points particle vibrate with the same phase similarly at these two points particles vibrate with the same phase the distance between the minimum distance between two particles which are vibrating at the same phase is called wavelength wavelength is the distance between two successive crusts or two successive troughs wavelength is represented by the letter lambda we use the letter lambda to you write wavelength wavelength is the distance between two successive crusts distance between two successive crusts or troughs to find the value of wavelength lambda consider the displacement equation y is equal to a sin kx minus omega t at the time t is equal to 0 suppose the phase angle is also 0 then the equation becomes y is equal to a sin kx y is equal to a sin kx is a equation or displacement equation at time t equal to 0 the next same point appears same phase appears after a period of 2 pi because particle here there is sin function sin function repeats after 2 pi radians or in general 2 n pi n is an integer after 2 pi radians the same phase appears or the particles vibrate with the same phase so at 
next same phase appears is y is equal to a sin k x plus 2 n pi or in general 2 pi in general 2 n pi at a particular 2 pi the distance between two successive values appears when n is 1 a sin k x becomes equal to the displacements are equal a sin k x plus 2 pi to n pi a a you can cancel a or function is same sin function k x is take k common k into x plus 2 n pi by k here there is no k to take k outside the bracket divided by k so that there is no change in the value. The equation becomes like this or the same phase appears between x and x plus 2 n pi by k is subtracting this we get wavelength lambda 2 n pi by k is equal to wavelength lambda when n is 1. The minimum distance, minimum distance f occurs when n is 1. The minimum distance between two successive crusts, the minimum distance between two successive crusts means the particles have to vibrate with the same phase that is at when n is equal to 1 or is equal to 2 pi by k where k is wave number k is 2 pi by lambda we have this relation this wave number lambda is called wavelength and k is wave number next let us study about the next period frequency and angular frequency derive the relation between period frequency and angular frequency consider the wave equation y is equal to a sin k x minus omega t plus phi. Here a is amplitude of the wave as before k is the wave number omega is angular frequency and phi is the phase angle. Now, to find the period and frequency let us take the particle at origin or x is 0 at and phase angle phi is also 0. The displacement equation becomes y is equal to a sin 0 minus omega t or minus omega t plus 0 or in general this is a minus a sin omega t y is equal to minus a sin omega t. Now, we can draw the graphical representation of this equation displacement y that is negative displacement y is this is a sinusoidal wave but with the amplitude negative. Now, what is period? Period is we use the letter capital T to find as period t, period is a measure of time. We define period as the time taken to complete one oscillation, time taken time taken to complete one oscillation is called period of a wave. Number of such oscillations completed in one second is called frequency. Period and frequency are related by the relation. We use the symbol nu for frequency. In frequency is equal to 1 by t. We have studied in the previous chapter. 
SI unit of frequency is hertz and SI unit of period is seconds second next let us study about angular frequency to find the period and frequency and angular frequency of a wave consider the displacement equation y is equal to a sin k x minus omega t plus phi here at time t t say k is equal to 0 uh, x is equal to 0 and phase angle phi is also equal to 0 degree. The equation becomes y is equal to a sin minus omega t sin of minus sin theta is minus sin theta therefore, this is minus a sin omega t is represent the equation y is equal to minus a sin omega t is the displacement equation at time t. The same displacement appears after a time t plus 2 pi or t plus t because the sine function repeats after 2 pi radians. Since sine function repeats after 2 pi radians, the same value or same displacement appears when t is equal to t plus t, where capital T represents period of a oscillation or period of a wave. Period is the time taken by the wave to complete one oscillation or one complete wave. Here this t pi t is 2 pi radians because this is a sin function, sin function repeats after every 2 pi radian or this is minus a sin omega t plus omega t. If you open the bracket the equation becomes minus a sin omega t plus omega capital T. Here there is difference t is any time instant capital T represents period that is omega t becomes equal to 2 pi radians when omega t is equal to 2 pi the same displacement repeats sin function repeats after every 2 pi radian or omega is equal to angular frequency omega is 2 pi by t angular frequency omega is 2 pi by t this is another equation but we have the relation between period and frequency we know period and frequency are inversely related t capital t is equal to 1 by frequency substitute for t nu is equal to 1 by t 1 by t is nu therefore omega is 2 pi nu we have another expression for omega angular frequency omega is 2 pi nu or 2 pi by t. The SI unit, SI unit of angular frequency is radian per second. Period is measure of time, it is SI unit is second, 2 pi is angle, therefore SI unit of omega is radian per second. Next let us derive the relation to find the velocity of a transverse wave, travelling wave or speed of travelling wave. Speed to find the relation speed of a travelling wave consider a progressive wave at any time instant t is equal to t the wave propagates in the forward direction say this is origin at time t is equal to t the wave propagates in the forward direction suppose in the next instant after a time interval of delta t, after a small time interval delta t, again if you observe the wave pattern, the wave pattern appears like this. 
for the observer at time delta t later than the time t the wave appears to be shifted to the right whole wave appears to be shifted to the right say this is a position of crust dot represent the crust when time t say this is the position of crust for the second wave at time t plus delta t delta t later 2 seconds later if you observe the whole wave appears to be shifted to the right that is the position of crust appears to be shifted by a small distance delta x delta x is the change in position of crust to find the that means we say the wave is propagating in the forward direction wave is traveling since the wave is propagating it has a speed the speed v is delta x by delta t to find the wave speed we have delta x by delta t we have to derive the equation for this here the equation of a displacement equation is y is equal to a sin k x minus omega t consider this displacement equation here a is amplitude and k x minus omega t represent the phase of a wave when time t and at time t plus delta t the particle at t particle which was at this point when time t is equal to t changes its position say it reaches this point at time t is equal to t plus delta t the position of particle changes at every point in this the position of each particle changes by a small displacement so here particle position of particle changes without change in phase of the angle when time t is t plus delta t x the position becomes x plus delta x position of crust changes by a small displacement delta x means x becomes equal to x plus delta x that is k x minus omega t becomes equal to k into x plus delta x minus omega into t plus delta t without changing the phase expand is k x minus omega t k x plus k into delta x minus omega t minus omega into delta t open the bracket k x k x minus omega t minus omega t so what is remaining is k into delta x minus omega into delta t is zero or k into delta x is equal to omega into delta t if you rearrange this equation delta x by delta t is omega by k but what is delta x by delta t delta e for the small change in position in a small change interval of time if you take the limit delta x and delta t very nearly equal to 0 then we say this is dt dx by dt is equal to omega by k dx by dt is nothing but wave velocity v rate of change of displacement is velocity omega by k v is equal to omega by k is the relation between wave velocity angular frequency and wave number suppose if omega is 2 pi if you use the relation in terms of frequency omega is 2 pi nu and k as 2 pi by lambda the equation becomes v is equal to 2 pi nu by 2 pi by lambda cancel 2 pi we get nu by 1 by lambda or nu into lambda 
V is equal to mu lambda. This is another important derivation. Relation between velocity, frequency and wavelength. When the wave propagates from one medium to another medium, wave velocity changes, wavelength changes, but frequency remains unaltered. V is equal to mu lambda. This is very important relation. Students, next let us solve some problems under this. That is displacement wave, progressive wave equation. Using the equation, let us solve some problems. Given equation is, the problem is, the equation of a sinusoidal wave is, y is equal to 0.4 sin 10 pi into 3t plus 2x, where x and y are in meter, t is in second. Find the amplitude, wavelength, frequency and velocity of the wave. This is very important problem. You can expect as a 5 marks question under problem session. To solve this problem, first consider the given data. The given equation, the given equation is y is equal to 0.4 sin 10 pi into 3t plus 2x. To solve this equation, that is to find the amplitude, wavelength, frequency, you compare this equation with the standard progressive wave equation. We have different types of progressive wave equation. First, let us list the different types of progressive wave equation. We have y is equal to a sin omega t minus kx y is equal to a sin omega, substitute for omega, omega is 2 pi nu minus 2 pi by lambda into x, take 2 pi as common, that is y is equal to 2 pi into nu t minus 1 by lambda into x, nu is 1 by t or t by t into x by lambda, in that way also we can write. Suppose if the wave is propagating in the negative y direction, we have one more equation, y is equal to a sin omega t minus of minus x plus k. These are different forms of progressive wave equations. Now compare the given equation with this. Now there is no equation with 10 pi. That means we can reduce this equation to standard progressive wave equation. In place of a we have 0.4 sin function, we have sin function. In place of 10 pi maximum there is 2 pi. There is no 10 pi. That means this is not a standard wave equation. Reduce this equation to standard wave equation. That is take 10 pi inside the bracket. The equation becomes 0.4 sin 3, 3 into 10 pi, 30 pi t plus 20, 2 into 10 pi, 20 pi x. Now this is in the standard form that is fourth equation. Comparing these two equations, this is of the form y is equal to a sin omega t plus kx. Compare these two equations. Say this is given equation. This is a progressive wave equation. Comparing 1 and 2, we get amplitude A
Point four. Point four is in meter. Point four meter. Next, in place of omega, we have thirty pi. Therefore, angular frequency omega. Thirty pi. But omega is, we know, omega is two pi nu. From the previous derivation, omega is two pi nu. Two into two pi into fifteen. We can write in this form. Comparing with these two, we get and frequency nu is fifteen hertz. Next, it is asked to calculate wavelength. To find the wavelength. We have k. The relation k is two pi by lambda. In the equation, k is equal to twenty pi. Comparing these two equations, k is equal to twenty pi. That is two pi by lambda. Is equal to twenty pi. Cancelling both sides, we get lambda is one by lambda is ten, or lambda is one by ten, which is equal to point one meter. Now we know frequency, we know wavelength. We can calculate wave velocity. Wave velocity is. We have the relation v is nu into lambda. Nu is 15 hertz. Lambda is 0.1 meter. Therefore, wave velocity is 15 into 0.1, or this is 1.5 meter per second. I repeat, the equation of a sinusoidal wave is given. Y is equal to point four sine ten pi into three t into three t plus two x. Now compare this with the standard progressive wave equations. While comparing this with the progressive wave equation, we can reduce the given equation to this form. That is, y is equal to a sine omega t plus k x. Then comparing the standard wave equation with the given equation, we can find amplitude of the wave. Angular frequency. Knowing angular frequency, we can find frequency. Then, using the value of k, we can find the value of wavelength lambda. Knowing the value of wavelength and frequency, we can find wave velocity v is equal to nu lambda. Consider one more problem. Here, the progressive wave is given by y is equal to 0.5 sine 2 pi t by 0.02. Minus x by 0.5, where x and y are in meter and t is in second. You are asked to find amplitude of the progressive wave, frequency of the progressive wave, wavelength and velocity of the progressive wave. Similar to the previous problem. Now consider the given equation. The given equation is. Y is 0.5 sine 2 pi t by 0.02 minus x by 0.5. Compare this equation with the standard progressive wave equation. Now, while comparing, we get the third equation is similar to this equation. We have progressive wave equations. The different forms of progressive wave equations are listed here. This third equation 
is similar to the given equation. Comparing, we get the given equation is similar to y is equal to a sin 2 pi t by t minus x by lambda. Comparing these two equations, we get amplitude a in place of a in place of a we have 0.5 unit is meter in place of sin 2 pi we have sin 2 pi in place of small letter t that is at any time instant instantaneous time we have the same symbol in place of period capital T, we have point zero 0.02. Therefore, period of the wave point zero 0.02 second. You are asked to calculate frequency. We have period and frequency are related. Frequency nu is equal to 1 by t. Therefore, nu is equal to 1 by t implies 1 by 0 0.02. The value of 1 by 0 0.02 is 50 hertz. Unit is hertz. Next, it is asked to calculate wavelength. In place of lambda, we have 0.5. Comparing the two equations, we have wavelength lambda is 0.5. Wavelength is a measure of distance, therefore SI unit is meter. Next, it is asked to calculate velocity of the wave. Wave velocity is given by the relation V is equal to nu lambda. We have derived in the previous session. Wave velocity V is equal to nu into lambda. Nu is 50, lambda is 0.5. Therefore, wave velocity is half of 50, 25. Unit is meter per second. A transverse wave on a string is described by y is equal to y of x comma t is equal to 3.0 sin 36t plus 0.018x plus 5 by 4. This is the equation of a progressive wave. Here it is asked to calculate is this a tra is this a travelling wave or a stationary wave? If it is a travelling wave, what are the speed and direction of its propagation? Then, what are its amplitude and frequency? What is the initial phase at the origin? Also, what is the least distance between two successive crusts in a wave? Given equation is the equation of a progressive wave and it is said that x and y are in centimeter, t is in second. We have the equation, standard equation of a progressive wave. Compare this. We have y is equal to a sin omega t plus kx plus phi. This is one form of progressive wave equation, where a, a is the amplitude of the wave, omega is the angular frequency, k is wave number and phi is the phase angle. The given equation is y is equal to 
थ्री पॉइंट जीरो साइन थर्टी सिक्स टी प्लस पॉइंट जीरो वन एट एक्स प्लस फाइव बाई फोर Now compare these two equations. While comparing these two equations, we can answer these questions. Is this traveling wave or a stationary wave? This equation is similar to the standard progressive wave equation. So the first answer is progressive wave is a traveling wave. It is a traveling wave. because in place of a we have 3 sin function in place of omega we have 36 t in place of k we have 0.018 x in place of phase angle phi we have phi by 4 we can compare these two equations this is equation of a progressive wave progressive wave is a traveling wave the wave propagates second if it is traveling what are the speed and direction it is a traveling wave then we have to find the speed and direction direction of wave the general equation we have derived the equation y is equal to a sin kx minus omega t or omega t minus kx is the equation of the progressive wave that we have while deriving the equations we have used the positive x direction but it is in a direction opposite to the that is omega t minus kx kx here minus of minus is a plus therefore there we have consider this is a negative x direction the wave propagates in negative x direction wave velocity to find the wave velocity using the given data we have the relation v is equal to mu lambda omega by k etc collect the given data here amplitude a is 3 meter 3 cm omega is 36 radian per second k 0.018 wave number per meter per meter we have this is 2 pi nu omega is 2 pi nu wave number is 2 pi lambda using these two equations we can find wave velocity next amplitude of and frequency first let us solve the b and c then we can get the value of v amplitude amplitude is 3 cm comparing these two equations we get amplitude a is 3 cm or 0.03 m what is the initial phase at the origin initial phase at the origin is obtained by taking the phase angle here the phase angle phi is pi by 4 or 45 degree phase angle phi is pi by 4 what is the least distance between two successive crests in a wave the least distance between two successive crests is nothing but it is wavelength of the wave wavelength of the wave is obtained using k and omega we have first let us find v v is omega by k omega 36 k 0.018 solving this we get value of v is nearly 2000 centimeter per second this is 20 meter per second
next last, what is the least distance between? That is nothing but lambda. To find the value of lambda, we have V is equal to nu lambda. Nu is a frequency, lambda is a wavelength. To find the value nu, use the relation omega is 2 pi nu. Nu is omega by 2 pi. Omega is 36, 36 by 2 pi. The frequency appears to be 5.7 hertz. Using this in the previous equation, lambda is V by nu. V 20 meter per second, 5.7, wavelength of the wave appears to be 3.49 meter. I repeat, here the given equation is y is 3 sin 36 t plus 0 0.018 x plus 5 by 4. This is similar to the standard equation y is equal to a sin omega t plus k x plus 5. Now, comparing these two equations, we get a as 3, where a is the amplitude of the wave, omega is the angular frequency and k is the wave number, phi is the phase angle. Comparing the two equations, we say the wave is a progressive wave, it is traveling in the negative x direction, it is opposite to the derived equation. Say here, to find the value of velocity v, v is omega by k, where omega and k are taken from these two, omega by k is it, the value obtained is 2000 centimeters per second or 20 meters per second. Next, amplitude is directly taken from the equation, phase angle phi is comparing the equation, we get phi by 4. And wavelength, to find the wavelength, use the relation V is equal to F lambda. Lambda is V by nu, V is wave velocity from the previous value, nu frequency that is obtained using the relation omega is 2 pi nu. Sub substituting and simplifying, we get the value is nearly equal to 3.5 meter.